Look, nah, no hands. I'll show you how to do that right now. Hello and welcome in. You're probably wondering why I'm on my main window screen here. Why am I not in Diablo 2? I'm a Diablo 2 content creator. Well, actually today I get asked all the time, hey, how are you saving and exiting and then selecting the character and selecting hell mode and rejoining the game and resetting your run counter? How are you doing all that when you just got your hands behind your head or while you're taking a drink or while you're reading chat, not even paying attention? I'm going to show you exactly how I do that today. Now, there's going to be a multitude of different ways that you can do this. This is sp specifically how I do it. Maybe you have different software where you can do it, but to start off, I don't know if you can see it, but I have a razor mouse. That's a little razor emblem right there and it's green. Um, so I use the razor synapse software and that's this right here down at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and open this up right now and show you exactly uh, what this is the software for the mouse. You may be able to get software for your mouse or for your keyboard that comes free with it. If you have aftermarket stuff, if not at the end, I'm going to show you a free version of kind of this software. It runs a little different and I'm not an expert on it. Just explain fully how it works. I used to use it years ago. So, but I have some macros set up on that other software as well. So there's all different kinds of stuff. This is completely controls the mouse. Mainly I come in here and do the lighting. I can change the colors. I can change all different types of effects. But more specifically on mine, it's called a macro, is how you click one button, just one button, and then you can have it do a whole different lines of commands to do anything you want to. So we'll go around the macros. I have ones that I used to use for video editing, or I still do occasionally. Um, I have some that I used to use for old Diablo 2, or this one that I used to use to type in player 7 difficulty before I knew about the command lines trick in the startup menu, or actually after the new patch, you won't have to worry about it at all, because it'll stay on the same player's difficulty until you change it. But that's one I used to use, haven't deleted it yet, but this is the one that I use right now. So if you don't have a run counter, just forget about this top part, but holding down Alt and hitting Q, that's how you reset the run counter to go to the next run and you reset the timer. Now the next one, um, come down here, you hit escape, so that brings up the menu. And then this right here is actually my arrow pad on a 60% keyboard like mine. When you hit the up button, it actually, says number eight, which would be like the up arrows on the number pad, I suppose. Um, then the next thing you have it do is hit enter because you went from return to game up to save and exit. And then you hit enter on the keyboard and that selects save and exit. Now this 2.8 seconds, that's how long it takes for my game in order to load the main menu. Now yours might differ depending on how fast or slow your computer is. Maybe yours is real fast, it does it in a second. Mine, through trial and error, I figured out it took roughly 2.8 seconds, this almost 2.9 seconds. So then I hit, that's me hitting enter again to select a starting for single player, not uh, online. Then the up is release. And if I didn't mention that before, the down is pushing down and the up is re then releasing the key. So this is hitting enter right here. And then you hit H and that selects hell. So this is selecting the single player. This enter selects the top character on your character list, which will always be the last character that you played. And then H will select hell difficulty. To be honest, I don't even remember what normal and nightmare is. One of them's N and then maybe M is nightmare. I, I can't even really remember, but I do know if you hit H, it takes you to hell difficulty. So that's it right there. That's how you reset the run counter. That's how you save and exit. And then that's how you select the new character and then select hell difficulty. So I have it set to mouse button number five. So that's one of the mouse buttons on the side of my mouse right here. And it's, it's, it's really is that easy. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the other one. Now, if you do not have this kind of software for your mouse or for your keyboard, there is a free version called auto hotkey that I have right here. And I can't exactly show you exactly how to go through and click everything to do it exactly the way you want to. Um, but I, what I did is I just looked up YouTube videos, how to do it. I figured it out and I got my own macros. Um, once you do make them though, um, I brought them out here. You can see them up here. My mouse is right here in case you're struggling to find it. Um, when you run these, actually, we'll go select hell and the character. It's the same thing that I just had. This is what I used to use for regular Diablo two. All you have to do is double click on this and boom, it's ready to go. It's programmed for actually a mouse button I don't have. I programmed it for the number zero on the number pad specifically. So it'd be right next to my mouse hand and I can just go boop and hit it real quick. Um, so it doesn't even it just sits down in your system tray and then it essentially turns your 
whatever you, whatever key you decide to use for the program, which I chose the zero key to be the uh, button that now does all that different stuff. When you open it up, it'll just be a screen with some random words. It won't fully tell you exactly what it is, but um, so you'll have to look up YouTube videos on how do you do this auto hotkey. I'm not an expert on that at all. So hopefully this video helped you out. If it did hit that like button and make sure if you haven't yet subscribe up, peace out.